Hello, welcome to PBA 400, Organizations and Management, where organizations and management come alive. I think that we have a very, very exciting semester ahead of us, and we're launching into week two here at the end of January. So I uh, hope that everyone's having a great start for their semester. I want to introduce you guys, if you don't already know them, to our wonderful sidekicks, Dixie and Emmy who are going to be with us this semester. This is Dixie right here, and this is Emmy, and they are so sweet, and they are so excited to see you guys. They have been chomping at the bit to get in Dad's lap and say hi this, uh, this week, and they are just so excited to see you guys, and they just wish you all the best. So, uh, you want to say hi? Okay, say hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. Good girls. All right. Now, uh, just to get started, uh, we did um, uh, have our first week last week. It was basically just, hey, let's let's figure out, uh, you know, where the water cooler is. Let's just get oriented. And so that's what we did. Um, we had, you know, a Dropbox assignment and a discussion, and just to get to know each other a little bit, as well as to. Uh, uh, learn, you know, make sure we knew our way around some research skills. Uh, pretty much that was just a, if you, if you turned it in and did it, uh, completion exercise, you know, you, you got credit for it. Um, and, uh, and that was it. And, and so, um, moving along, we do have, have another exercise this week and a discussion. And so, um, generally that's how it's going to work. Uh, not always, uh, 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 just a completion grade moving forward. We're, you know, uh, going to have, uh, you know, y'all give it your best kind of deal, and, and we're going to take a look at it. So, um, but I think I, I expect everyone's going to do great. Um, the challenge of this course is going to be uh, learning uh, new perspectives, and so also the opportunity, and and really the fun thing uh, we're going to do is learn four frames. Uh, uh, and perspectives of looking at organizations. And so um, the four, uh, four frames we're going to be looking at organizations through, the family frame, the jungle frame, as well as the temple frame. And so I'm going to go through each one of these. These are basically the four uh, categories we're going to go through uh, throughout the majority of the semester. And uh, it's really going to make us better managers and leaders um, because we're going to learn these new viewpoints and be able to see the organizations that we're in or we're going to be in from a new perspective. And um, it really does work. And uh, I encourage you to uh, really uh, apply yourself this semester and, and take these on uh, it's 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 very fun and at the same time it's it's a very uh, eye-opening uh, experience. So we're gonna we're actually gonna be diving in deep into this stuff and it's gonna be it's gonna be rewarding. I feel so. Um, the factory uh, perspective. I'm just gonna give a quick overview here. The factory perspective is basically looking at the architecture uh, of an organization. Um, basically, for for example. You have an org chart. It start, looks kind of like a family tree. You have your your uh, your leadership, and then you have uh, you know leadership maybe beneath that, and then you have you know staff, and you have uh, lines. There are different types of organizations. There are uh, horizontal organizations. There are vertical organizations that have multiple layers of uh, authority, management, leadership. Um, we also have uh, um, goals that are set. Uh, within these organizations, um, we have also measures and metrics that are tracked. Uh, for example, um, a bank will have uh, goals that you know that they are seeking to meet in terms of uh, profitability or uh, of uh, uh, maybe uh, loans or accounts that they uh, or deposits they seek to generate. Um, you also have, uh, uh, you know, for example, a not-for-profit or a public organization is going to have um, metrics in terms of, of uh, the public that they are seeking to serve. 
Um, it may be grants that they're awarding. It may be um, it may be uh, uh, constituents that they're serving, um, and that's one of the challenges of a public organization: is how do you measure um, these the services that are provided and the, whatever your charge is from a public point of view. And so, um, very very interesting perspective. We're also going to be looking at. Uh, the, the family perspective, and so this is more the human resources uh, point of view. So just the idea that there's a composition of multiple individuals that come together to make up that organization. It's not just a uh, an organizational chart. It's actually a community of individuals that are human beings and they all have wants and they all have needs and they all have goals and aspirations and and how does all that fit um, and all and personalities and everything how does all that fit to come together to make this organization and build up these goals okay and, and meet the meet the uh, the uh, and achieve what the organization is seeking to accomplish okay and so um, we're also going to look at the, the jungle perspective. Okay, so we've looked, we've talked about factories, we've talked about family. Now we're going to look at the jungle perspective. So the jungle perspective is uh, the role of politics within the organization, and um, this is a reality within any organization. There are uh, coalitions that form. There are uh, uh, there are. Uh, 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 there's negotiation that happens. There's, um, you know, back office conversations that that uh, you know where uh, folks are allying to help uh, uh, accomplish goals within the organization. There are people, um, you know, there's power structures within the organization that aren't necessarily stated. Okay, this isn't necessarily in writing. There's not necessarily like the CEO is always going to be the one in control because. There are always uh, power structures and, and coalitions that are forming that could balance power one way or the other. And so that can be a little bit risky. And it's a very, very important part of management and organizations because you need to understand that the, the balance of power within an organization, if it's not you know, correctly displayed, can be very dangerous and, and, and to the organizational goals. And, and um, can be uh, actually contradictory toward uh, an organization being effective and efficient. Um, so we're going to go through a lot of that. This is very, you know, uh, interesting stuff, but also very important stuff. And and things as a leader and as a manager, we all want to be aware of. Um, not only for to meet the goals of the organization, but you know, to protect ourselves, to help us take advantage of these insights. Uh, in our own lives, uh, in our own careers, in our own uh, uh, organizations, okay? Um, and also the, the fourth uh, frame we're going to be looking at, we've looked at factories, families, jungles. Uh, we're looking at the temple frame. And so this is the, where we see the organization as a culture, okay? And so this culture has symbols and it has... Uh, heroes and it has rituals. Who is who has celebrated a birthday part? Uh, you know, at their at their workplace when when everybody you know brings a cake and everyone uh, celebrates a birthday. Or there may be a, a culture hero that's in the organization and they, and it maybe uh, somebody is 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 kind of this mythical uh, founder of the organization that had all these grand and high ideals and everyone looked up to and it was just very very, uh, you know, somebody that, that's, that's talked about all the time and, uh, you know, somebody that's in that culture um, and, uh, and um, almost this mythical legend, that's the temple frame of this organization. Again, it's not always a stated uh, architectural built-in part of the organization. It's more about the culture that, that when somebody's in that, uh, that, that, um, organization, these roles, these people that are the storytellers that, that perpetuate or, or uh, the, the ministers, so to speak, that may uh, perpetuate these, uh, these uh, uh, rituals or, or myths or legends um, uh, go on. So 
anyway, I just wanted to uh, recap what those are because we're going to be going through uh, these four frames for the, sem the entire semester, basically. And then, um, you know, why these are important is because they're going to help you to be uh, uh, more effective, more uh, uh, ef uh, efficient, and a more ethical leader and manager. And ultimately, that's what this course is about. And um, I look forward to working with you. I think that, that if, if, uh, if you're not currently a leader uh, or a manager now, if you're in this course, one day you will be. And I have a lot of confidence in that. And um, you guys, um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Feel free to call me anytime. I'm pretty much always available. Text me, uh, email, um, and uh, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. All right, thanks.